Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Trub on USA YouTube channel. I just cut the grass at the dealership. Um, I have a little update about my containers, the fourth and the fifth container. So let me explain to you. I posted about the fourth container last year, July. I mentioned that I will release a video of the unloading if my channel reaches 500 subscribers. I'm at 455 right now, so that video hasn't been released. Why that video is such a big deal? Well, things went really, really, really wrong. Someone got hurt. The three, a two hour job became an eight hour job. was a complete mess that resulted that uh, I quit importing turbans to the US that was in 2017 it was such a trauma for, my, for me that uh, I just uh, I just quit I had no desire to continue and uh, took a long break from it recovered came back to it and here we go again It's tough. The fifth container stuck in a port. It's, it arrived um, first week of August by uh, August 16th or 13th. I'm not sure with the dates, but it was released by the customs. It was ready to be picked up. But uh, the port, the part of the port where my container was was so congested that uh, the truckers that normally they're able to go in and pick up two or three loads they were not able to get into the port so after a week they they started a strike they said we are refusing to go in there unless the port uh, changes the system provides their enough containers so it's worth worth it for them to go in there well the port said there are no issues come get your container the truckers refused to go in there the sad part about it is that the container is being stored and um, the port and the shipping company two places two companies uh, has been charging me and a whole bunch of other people's people's uh, people for their container to be stored it's about 300 bucks a day today is what I was fourth my container is still not here although it has been removed from the con uh, from the port yesterday costing me a $5,000 fee which has to be paid in order to get the container out so that's that wasn't enough for them to charge 400 times more I mean, 400 percent more for the container to be shipped from Europe to the States. They were not able to provide a, a good job or do their job. That caused a two more weeks delay, which I paid for. So I'm not trying to bitch. It is what it is. In the beginning, I said it. I know it's a mess. I know I'm paying. 400 times a lot four times more for everything that I'm supposed to it is what it is I'm still doing it but this one hurts this this port fee it put me in a situation where it's sinking my boat it was very stressful my export guy my import guy and myself we've been on the phone eight hours a day in the past two weeks trying to find a, a freight company that brings out my container and we couldn't find anybody. Thursday, the day before yesterday, Thursday, we got a call from one company. They said, okay, we have this much of a surcharge and extra fees for a container drop off, but we can do it. We can bring it out before the long weekend. We can bring it out Friday and deliver it to you, to me on Tuesday. So I said, okay, let's do it. I paid the surcharge, I paid the fees. So today, Saturday, um, I'm 
going to cut the grass right now at my dealership location at the lot and um, have some fun tomorrow and Tuesday I'm unloading the container which I would like to live stream but um, not sure if I'm going to do that I'm sure if I get uh, a thousand subscribers I can promise that I will live stream it that's what I need uh, I need thousand subscribers so I can monetize my channel I would be really happy with a 500 but the goal is a thousand so if you haven't subscribed yet please do and um, at 500 I, I will keep my promise I will release the video of the fourth container unloading at 500 and I will release the video or do a live at a thousand subscribers so go ahead please subscribe hit the like button comment and thanks for watching see you in the next episode bye